This is a video about how to create an email on Gmail. I will type it on Google, new Gmail account. Yes, you got it. So you're going to click create your Google account, accounts.google.com. So this is it. You're going to start, you're going to put in your first name. I will write my name, my second name. This is your username. What do you want to decide on? You've got many options. Usually, for um, for a proper email, it should be with your name. So nobody else can take it later on when you grow up or whatever. So when you need it, you will find it. But some people use just like fake email accounts and fake names. So actually, this is not going to be really cool. For me, I'd rather use my real name, okay, and create it accordingly. So you can use letters, numbers, and periods. So you cannot use anything else, any symbol, anything else you're not able to use. You need to follow what they tell you. Password, I'm gonna type in the password. Uh, this username is taken. Mm -hmm. Do you see guys? My name is taken. I didn't take this one, so I'm gonna try another one. 1408, I will change the names. And make sure, guys, you write it down so you don't forget it. Make sure you write it down. I want to create this one, so let's try. Yes, this one is okay. I have to write it down so I don't forget it. We've got lots of problems with people forgetting their accounts, their passwords. You need to create something. You need to save it. Save it somewhere place. Write all your information in a safe place. So you can, at least if you forget it someday, you will refer back to it and find it. Okay, I don't want to show password. You cannot see it. <laughs> Next. So this is my new email. I should add a phone number to this email. In order to uh, use it, I should add a phone number. So I will... I will keep it optional. I will keep it optional. All right. But I have to put a recovery email. This is a recovery email. Sometimes for you guys, you can put your parents' email. Because if you forgot your password and you need to open this email, they send you the password to this email. And they refer to this email for recovering your lost email. Don't forget to put the month, day, and year. Usually, Google doesn't allow, or I know from Apple, Apple doesn't allow anyone to open any account under 18 years old. So that's why. Maybe if you put a small year, let's try this one. You've been born July 5, 2013, because you're 2013 or 12. Let's try Gender, email, okay, next, oh, that's good, they let me open it, aha, but read this, a parent must help Prima manage her account until she turns 13 or applicable age in your country, so, mm -hmm. next step are for parents, do you see that, so you need to, to let your parents help you. All right, and you need to put a parent email in here. I'll put my email, my real email. Parent consent, let's see. So the parent needs to read this and make sure everything will be applicable. I agree. Your info, Rima, yes. So that's my info. If you forgot it, take a screenshot of this in order not to forget it. Next. So it's created. 
Be careful, beautiful year three students. You need to create it and let your parents help you. All right. So this will be your email and you will find it here. You can go to your Gmail, you can go to your uh, calendar, drive, photos. You've got many things with Google to use. So we are going to go to Gmail. That's what we are going to use, the Gmail, the mail. That's your Google account using the mail. And you will be able to see this. This will be your new email. From here, you can compose new emails. And here, you have to write down the email address, subject, buddy, and then hit send button. Good luck, everybody. I hope you find this informative and I hope you enjoy this cool email lesson. Bye-bye.